There's a universal law out there and it states whatever you give comes back manifold. I believe that our success is a result of giving back. Being a responsible miner means being accountable to the countries in which we operate. We do that through our corporate social investment programs. We invest in the countries. The challenges of conquering poverty, combating climate change and achieving truly sustainable development in the coming decades compel us to work together. With partnership, leadership and wise investments in education, we can transform individual lives, national economies and our world. Our vision is generational, to make a generational difference in the four focus areas which we have identified. What we'd like to show you today is what we do when we're not mining, the magic that we're creating, the sustainable difference to the livelihoods of people and the health of the planet. This is what this is about. So our corporate social responsibility programs focus on health, education, livelihoods and the environment. Take the journey of a little child that has been born. You take care of that child 1,000 days. You take them through schooling. The whole livelihoods programs, the skills that you give them, you help them to work on their own in transferring it on to the next generation. So for me, really, it's the line of sight that we have created throughout our programs, and that is passion for me. We have put together a strategy that really helps us to facilitate the delivery of corporate social investment programs to the communities in which we operate. In partnership with the Colorado State University, we've brought in a program called Little Shop of Physics. And that program helps us really to understand the concepts of physics in a very simplistic manner. We recognize the importance of this project and the impact it has in Namibia. I like the Little Shop of Physics project because it's hands-on, it's practical, and they do have fun. And that is why Little Shop of Physics is so exciting, because it brings science out of the classroom, out of the laboratory, into the everyday life of our kids. We have had positive feedback from both teachers and learners who have gone through this project and we are positive that this project will contribute enormously to the education system in Namibia. And this is fantastic because we are now working together as a team to make sure that this methodology then becomes part of the national curriculum. That in itself means that it's sustainable, it's long term and people are going to be using it. It becomes second nature. You see how children's confidence levels are lifted up and you can just imagine how many scientists, how many engineers will be born out of this. I want to be a scientist. Why a scientist? Because I want to make cures for HIV and AIDS, um, all the, the diseases that can't be cured. I want to make cures for that. By the end of 2017, we had about 4,500 um, learners from all over Namibia and 700 teachers. We offer leadership training, team building, and the leadership of physics to train and have uh, brilliant and good leaders for the future in Namibia. Before we started mine construction at Ochikoto, we made a promise that we would leave Namibia better off as a result of our mine operation having been here. The interactive smart board and these computers that were sponsored to us by Bitu Gold, they are really something valuable to the school. We go to the INCATA program, we find whatever it is that we need to do for that day, they have the information like the way they were doing today. Education. Who holds the key to young people's future? B2 Gold is providing preschoolers with a safe environment and the early childhood skills to perform well at school. B2 Gold has really been helpful um, in so many ways when it comes to the ECD centers within our communities, providing material support to the ECD centers, the different trainings to the educators to make sure that they are fully equipped to fulfill the different standards that the Ministry of Gender wants to see the cities at. They, even after B2 Gold, they still have linkages with their own communities and are able to move forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
B2 Gold has really helped us. They made sure that at the ECD centers, each one of them, they have set up a toilet to make sure that children are not running to the bushes because there's no pipeline closer to where you can put a flushing toilet. So really, the toilet has been really helpful within those environments. In the Namibian House, we strive for unity of purpose that lifts the standard of living of the Namibian people. In line with President Hage Genkob's Harambe Prosperity Plan, our goal to leave no one behind. Say, uh, are the youngest ones also going for camping? For the young ones, we are still grooming you for the program. Don't worry, your turn will come. To say the truth, this has been the only program running in Ochiwarongo, a youth program. Kids coming from marginalized communities, giving that small meal to them also means a lot. Being there for them means a lot. Some kids, you find them, they stay with grandparents or being abused. Here, it's like a second home for them. Kayak has generalized like many ways, through traveling, like through helping me out, school work, projects like how you live your life. With the help of my youth officers and volunteers at Kayak, they had given me this confidence to enter in the beauty pageant. I was the only fat girl, but that did not discourage me, but I was so passionate and confident, so I won the title, yeah. Responsible mining means supporting those that need it most. Simply put, doing the right thing and doing what we say we will. We apply our mining principles to our corporate social investment, ensuring that children in host communities live in a safe environment. We were facing social problems. Before the wall was there, it was a fence. And the fence was easily cut open and they vandalized the school. Most of the classes on Monday mornings were broken into. And that is how Beautiful is contributing towards the upliftment of these children. B2 Gold is one of the sponsors we are relying on as NSDA, Namibian Schools Debating Association, for the past two, three years. And it has helped us in preparing their learners, in molding them, and in nurturing and unleashing their talent in debating and to become public speakers in the land of the brave. Peter Gold Namibia is investing extensively in education, especially in the Ochans and Zupa region, and we are fortunate to be part of this program where Peter Gold has donated quite a considerable amount of money to the school, which is utilized to provide tutoring in physical science and computer studies. And when we look at our results, that this sponsorship has made a difference because we have these continuously high results within the region, but on national level as well. So I would love to mention the fact that the help that we got from the mine have to improve the overall attitude of the learners, the attitude of the institutional workers, the overall hygiene in the dining room, as well as the overall organization in the dining room. We proud ourselves as one of the government institutions with the most beautiful state-of-the-art dining facility. Thank you. We will always continue to deliver on the promises made to the leaders and the people of Namibia. Some of the other projects that we have done is supporting the Teacher Resource Center in Ochivarango, in Etunda, which is a project that is run by the Founding Father, and we have assisted them to build a dining hall. Then we've also supported Juanita Hay, which is a privately run hostel in Otavi, to make it the best place to be for those children from the surrounding farms and so on. As we continue to evolve, it is our promise to make a positive difference that will enable our people and communities to grow with the success of our company. Baker Man is baking bread. Baker Man is baking bread. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm En het is voor alles gevertel wat leren dan is om je compiet en dus dat het nog leren is om je bezigheid te laten groeien en om je geld te besparen en zo verder te gaan met je bezigheid te voortdelen.
Nou, mijn bier zei die beginnen een beetje groeien. Ik denk nu die nieuwe gebouw opgebouwd en uh, ik zal nog groeien. For us, it's more about transforming the society that we are operating in, and to see that transformation duplicated in generations to come. My struggle as an Indian author was to get published. So I went about getting myself self-published. I had nobody to advise me of where to go, or what to do. So be to go buy my books then has helped my books be received by a lot of people in a lot of communities. I wanted it to go to children in disadvantaged communities because I'm one of them. And for them to see one of their own, I think, writing books, I think it will inspire them to do the same for them in the future. The angel funding has me by help om materiaal te koop, met bezigheid vlot te laten lopen. Our vision is to be a responsible mining company that demonstrates leadership by going beyond industry standards. We've got an electronic plant here that we had difficulties in commissioning. Our director, Mr. Edward Miller, executive director, um, approached the management of B2 Gold for a donation. I wrote to Mark and he immediately said, yes, we have decided we will support you. But we got this uh, uh, converter and the link. These two instruments will be instrumental in the commissioning of our plant here at the back, which we will be using for training purposes. And this is where you get the confidence to carry on working, because there are people who support you. Some of our trainees also go to B2 Gold for attachment, and here they go and get a lot of on-job training. B2 Gold built the mine in Otavi with plus minus 50% of the people working on the mine come from them. When his Canadian people came to B2 Gold in Otavi, and they said, can you get us the same type of quality person to build our gold mine in Mali? So if we can export qualified people and they send money home and they get a new wider vision on things, then we can also get bread on the table of the families. As a responsible miner, our corporate social initiatives clearly demonstrate that mining can harmoniously coexist with and enhance environmental conservation. We're committed to the planet and the people, and that's why we set up the Namibian Chamber of Environment. Most of our population are dependent on primary production for their livelihoods. That's the soils which help them produce crops, that's the grass which feeds their cattle, and it's the felt food which provides more food and medicine and is very important for people's livelihoods. And that is our focus. B2 Gold had this great vision to establish a chamber of environment that allows people to come together and jointly fund and jointly support well-selected, carefully assessed programs and projects that will have an impact on the ground. It's very much in line with the King 4 report on governance, really leveraging much bigger impacts than they have in the past. The more an organization's business model positively impacts on society and the environment, the more the quality of life in developing economies will improve. The Namibian Chamber of Environment has really changed the way that private sector looks at the way it can contribute to a country and its host communities. Companies and private sector are able to get really good information on how to do things better in the country in which they operate and the society and environment directly benefit from the efforts of the private sector. What is inspiring about um, b 2 God's um, corporate social responsibilities is the marriage of conservation and mining, putting those two concepts together and making it work as a unit. And I think this is quite unique in the world in that typically environmental NGOs and private sector are adversaries. And we're actually changing that. The role of Seferano Trust has been to make sure that we actually protect the black rhino on the escarpment of the Northwest. We have several programs to make sure that the black rhino on that escarpment is being taken care of. And then that people also benefit through tourism, through the black rhino. B2 Gold are really doing their social responsibility justice by investing within the Save the Rhino Trust. Our goal is to protect and conserve the environment on which all of us depend and to promote a better standard of living for everyone. 
What we see here is the result of a transition that Namibia is experiencing at the moment from a mainly rural towards a mainly urban-based society. This transition really is most visible in the rapid urban growth, especially of these kinds of informal settlements at the peripheries of towns across Namibia. There are at the moment about 140,000 informal houses. This number is likely to double over the next 10 to 15 years. The support we received as an NGO from B2 Gold allowed us to invest time and resources into developing an approach and a model to address this issue and to contribute to national housing policy to provide affordable, minimally serviced and upgradable lands to the urban poor in Namibia. The Mr. Sister Mobile Clinic provides primary health care to underserved and rural communities, people who don't have access to conventional medical services. And with the help of B2 Gold, we've been providing these services in the informal settlements in and around Vintuk. In addition to that, B2 Gold also supports us on the First 1000 Days program, which is targeted at first-time mothers, where we provide antenatal care and we also provide health education because we reach quite a big population in the informal settlements. So the impact is really, really big in terms of health care. And we want to thank B2 Gold for their contribution. Thank you, B2 Gold! We do all of this because it's the right thing to do. It's all about positive change giving confidence to the young people to show them that they can do it. It is also a responsibility because we are not the future. We are the past and the present. It makes such a big difference. Is to invest in the young people of Namibia. I think the best thing about our CSI is that we're really changing the game. It's a basic human need. It's about basic fundamental human rights. Lasting legacies that we're leaving. We want to create a better society taking our trainees and our institution and even our country to greater heights. And I bet you didn't know that a gold mine could do all of this. Our ultimate goal is for the B2 Gold legacy to benefit future generations for many years to come, long after we and you are gone. Mamo Kobo.